Hi everybody, it's Anthony Fasano, founder of Powerful Purpose Associates and author of Engineer Your Own Success, Seven Key Elements to Creating an Extraordinary Engineering Career. I like to answer questions here on my blog that I receive from engineers around the world on their engineering career. And in this post, I want to answer two questions. The first one is, what is the best career option after completing a bachelor's degree in civil engineering for an average student? Okay, first of all, if you've completed an engineering degree, you're not an average student, at least in my opinion. It takes a lot of work to get through an engineering degree, so please get that thought out of your mind from the beginning. Secondly, as a civil engineer, there are a lot of different things you can do. From residential and commercial design, where you're laying out the building footprints, parking spaces, stormwater design. You can become a structural engineer and design the beams and the structural components for buildings and bridges. You can go into geotechnical engineering, which is soil engineering, where you design foundations and you basically investigate the soils for projects. You can get into environmental engineering, remediation, things of that nature. There are so many different components of civil engineering. Transportation, as far as roadway design. Okay, Civil engineering is pretty much anything that you see outdoors, a civil engineer had a hand in. Okay, and that's one of the reasons that I became a civil engineer when I graduated school. So there are lots of different options, and if you go to Wikipedia or you Google civil engineering, you can probably find even more. But the other point I want to make is, if you graduate in another kind of engineering, you can also do civil engineering or vice versa. I know a lot of mechanical engineers that work now in the civil engineering industry doing drainage design and things of that nature. So also don't keep yourself set on one kind of engineering. Okay, and of course, you can do other things outside of engineering with an engineering degree. And that's one of the great things about the engineering degree is it's extremely flexible. Okay, the second question that I received was, I want to be a CAD pro or a CAD engineer. What options are there? <clears throat> that's a good question. To be honest with you, I don't know a lot about necessarily a CAD engineer, but what I can tell you about AutoCAD <clears throat> is that in today's world, an engineer is responsible for knowing AutoCAD and using it for designing. Okay, back in the old days, people used to draw their designs by hand, give it to a draftsman or draftswoman, and they would take it and literally draw it on AutoCAD. Well, that doesn't happen anymore. Now, engineers are doing everything. So when you get out of school, you're going to be challenged to take a design and draw it and design it on AutoCAD. Right? You might sit down with an upper level engineer who's going to draw some things out for you on a piece of paper, but then you're going to have to put it into AutoCAD, design it, okay? the whole 3D from the grading, stormwater, everything. Right? So that's something that you have to be ready and willing to do if you want to succeed as an engineer. So please, keep those points in mind. You can certainly look for some more information online on both of those points, and I hope that these were helpful in answering your questions. Once again, this is Anthony Fasano, founder of Powerful Purpose Associates and author of Engineer Your Own Success, and I hope that I can continue to help you take your career wherever you want to take it.